hello this is the first video of the series image uh, for confocal image processing i will go through various topics in this series but in the first video i will uh, talk about how to open confocal or z stack file in czi format with image or vg so let's see how to open or read a confocal z stack file with image or vg so if you try to open the image and then go on the file open and here we have uh, various uh, confocal images in czi format so if we try to open that it won't let it open because image a cannot open the cz and i format because of the proprietary reasons so we have to use fiji for that so we go to open the fiji and then again click on file open and any one of these czi format file okay so that will open this uh, window so leave all the options as they are except this color mode here we have uh, different options so we'll leave it on the composite and make sure that the split channel is unselected click on ok and that would open the image because we have chosen to open the composite image so that is a single image with all the channels so we see that with fiji it's uh, pretty straightforward to open the uh, czi confocal uh, image okay so uh, if you look at the image uh, we don't see anything at the moment it looks uh, blank but it's actually not blank but we have to make some adjustments uh, but before i do that uh, let me quickly show you what we see on the window so obviously here in this area we will see our image and uh, on the bottom we have the two bars so the top one is c and the bottom one is z so c means channels and z means z track because this image is composed of two channels so we can see here two channels and we can so this is the first channel this is the second channel and as you move it so you see on the top we can see is say c one of two this means channel one of two it's also show the detail about the z stack so one out of 98 there were total 98 z stacks and we are looking at the first one and then if we move the channel bar to the right we see that it uh, changes to channel two uh, so the bottom one is the uh, z stack so if we move it you see uh, the information of the z stack here also changes right now we are at um, slice number seven out of 98 so if it move it along so we can see with the steps of the image uh, but first uh, because this image is not optimized at the moment so first thing we have to do is to make it look brighter so go on the image and then adjust and then brightness an easier way is to click on the auto and then you can move around and we can see that it's very grainy so it's not uh, what we expect so just reset and then click on auto again and we can see it looks nice now so this is for the second channel uh, for the first channel we have to bring it back to the channel one and again we have to click on the auto and then if you move around you can see a nice detail so this is the auto adjustment but if you want you can manually obviously uh, change it here are some more adjustments so you can make it a little bit darker you can change the brightness you can change the contrast so you can play with it so you can change different parameters to uh, see where you like the best so in the next video we'll see how to flatten this image to merge all the layers into a single layer that will have the all the details